In this video, we'll cover the basics of configuring the DevExtreme tab panel widget. The tab panel automatically synchronizes the selected tab and the currently displayed view. If a user switches a tab, the widget displays the appropriate view, and when a user switches a view by swiping, the widget selects the appropriate tab. I've already created a simple web page and added references to the following libraries, jQuery, Knockout, Globalize, and WebAppJS. I've also referenced DevExtreme styles that correspond to the light theme. Like any widget from the DevExtreme library, the tab panel widget can be added using the jQuery, AngularJS, or Knockout approach. Here, I'm using the Knockout approach. First, we need to add the tab panel widget to a page and set up a data source for it. I've already prepared an array of objects representing information on companies. Let's assign the array to the widget's data source configuration option. Now let's set a tab title. For this purpose, I'll specify a title template and set the company name to be shown in the title. And that's it. Let's see how the tab panel looks with the specified data. As you can see, each pane shows the company name from our data source. Let's add company information to each pane. To show data in our panel container, I'll define a custom template for panel items. I'll add the span element and bind its text attribute to the state field of the item data source. Let's add more description fields. All right, let's see the result. Now, when I switch a tab, the widget displays the appropriate company information. Finally, let's show an alert message when clicking the panel item. To do this, I'll define a function for the on item click option. I'll use the DevExtreme dialog alert to show data. To access the current item object, use the item data field of the function's parameter. As you can see, we can now get information about an item when clicking it. Then you can use it to navigate to another page. To learn more about the tab panel elements and how to customize it, please refer to the documentation on our website. Thanks for watching and thank you for choosing DevExpress.